What's up YouTube, Zombie Killer here, gonna show you how to get a very powerful knife. Alright, what you wanna do is have this gun. These camels do not matter. Use whatever camel you want, doesn't matter. But when you press X, you wanna be able to get this gun to level 13 so that you can get the stiletto knife. And then I recommend extended mags plus FMJ 1 and 2 to do more damage to the boss. Sight if you want it, doesn't really matter. But just make sure that you have the gun equipped. It's the second gun so it won't take long. Then as you see this is just a little dead. Uh, the normal difficulty and everything. Nothing special, no modifications or anything. It doesn't matter what map you play on. Uh, normal difficulty, which is the regular game mode difficulty. This will be a nice one hit kill all the way up until round five starts. Then it becomes a two hit kill. But as you see, I'll make a lot of points before then. Because pretty much you get the same amount of points for killing a zombie no matter which way you kill him. A couple shots with your pistol and then pull out a more powerful gun to wipe him out or whatever. But headshots will give you bonus points. And then knife will give you even more bonus points. So. If you want to get the most amount of points per kill, and you can one-shot them no matter what, I recommend knifing them. If you're all familiar on how Call of Duty does things, you'll easily understand that. Because 150 points for a nice little knife kill is what you'll get. Now keep in mind, even after it becomes a two hit kill, you can still do some very smart stuff to still be able to wipe them out with a knife. Like round five studs, one shot, knife will take them out or two sh knives real quick. And the more people, the more zombies, so you can get a lot more money. I'm avoiding power up drops, but do note that they can give you a lot more money.
Uh, as you see, 7,100. If I was to knife him, that would be 7,250. But right now, I'm going to keep him alive. Because I don't want to start into the next round. I want to be able to use this knife for a little bit more bonus points with one hit kill. So, let's call in these zombies, take them out real quick. Come on, why did my health took so long to heal? Should've started healing. Oh well. Got a little bit reckless, not a big deal. I'm back here. I think that's the last zombie, so I don't want to kill him. Oh well. If I kill him, he dies. I'm not going down again because of him. Just be careful, don't get reckless. I'm getting reckless because I don't really care. I'm ending the game after I get done demonstrating. But as you see, the zombies that the warden spawned in will be level 4 zombies. So let's take out the warden real quick. That's a normal zombie from this round. Let's not get reckless. I'm also going to show you whether or not pack punch will have any effect on this knife because I know that's probably a question that you guys will care about and even though I can just plain tell you I think it's more fun to watch
almost all set to unlock pack punch. Just need a tad bit more zombies. And then afterwards I'll show whether or not upgrading the extra time for bonus damage works but as you see normal pack punch not a bad change. One time pack punch still two hit kills. As you see now though, able to one shot, no problem. So yes, upgrading beyond that limit will actually allow it to be one hit kill. That's three time bonus pack punch, so 75 bonus damage. I can only upgrade one more time for more bonus damage. Let's get everything under control again. But yeah, when you're coming through this area, do not get reckless, otherwise you'll die. I did not really care that much if I died because I got two spare lives and I plan on ending the video after I get done showing you guys exactly how good the starting knife can be. But if you're playing for the long haul, 
I do recommend being careful. But as you see, this will cost 2500, which means I still have yet to hit full power. Now grab it, and then as you see, it's now 1500, which means I'm at full firepower. Any further upgrading will only be to change the special effect of the weapon. But as you see with this weapon, you can go pretty far with knifing. By the way, in case we don't know, the hammer got pretty much a buff where it will refill your shield health for you which makes it a lot more viable and better it's actually somewhat useful now But as you can see though, the knife is pretty good. Especially if you want it to tie you over until you can get something better like a bowie knife or a golden spork. And as you see, you can even get your weapon special effect to trigger. So as you see, round 10 though, it starts being a two hit kill again. Unless of course you get lucky and you have a good special ability and it triggers. Now you see, headshots really don't matter with a knife. But it's nice uh, knifing a zombie and having it become your ally. Respect the knife. <laughs> but yeah, that's about as strong as the knife gets, unfortunately. There's no more upgrading it, but it lasts pretty well. About the same went all the way upgrade about the same output almost as the you know the spork itself without the goldenness which is pretty good not bad for a weapon On top of that you got a pretty deadly pistol that can do pretty good amount of damage So all in all, pretty good weapon. 
kind of a lot of fun to use. And that's why this is either my favorite or second favorite. I always want this or one other gun, which is a machine gun which I can dual wield. Which I currently don't have unlocked because it's pretty high level. And that's if I unlocked it and did not notice, but I think it's still locked. I think it's like 46 or something that you unlock it. Anyways, it takes a while. But, there we go. All my books. As you see though, even with the dogs, it's multiple hits. But like I said, key, dogs, all the time. Very useful. And very easy. Hopefully you guys like this video about how far this knife can go. It can do pretty decent at least. And it's a good money maker. As you see, by round 10 I had, well the end of round 10, I had all my perks bought. Now here's another tip if you guys want for more survivability. As you see, I got a whole horde of zombies. I'm gonna have my back to them with a shield up, and because of my cola thing with the shield, as you see, I'm not taking damage. My shield is. Which will do a nice little burst when broken, and... Which case will stun them. And as you see, with that last defense perk, I'm still alive, even at the fatal hit. With, speak, with quick revive, I'm able to regen my health quite a bit fast. Also, as a tonic, I can move faster. I got a pretty good amount of ammo for Cabandalier. Learned perks that will combine well, and you should be fine. As you see, though, that's a pretty good defense setup. And also, as you'll see, if you use anywhere but here, you're invincible. And it'll allow you to teleport up. Very reliable. Highly recommend. But anyways, shall we kill this last zombie and then end the video? There's more. Alright, there we go. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, anyways, hopefully you guys found this video helpful, or at least interesting, and I'll see you guys on the next video.